guys welcome back to another vlog it's wednesday march 20th i think today's the first day of spring it's 10 o'clock i did my makeup a little while ago and then i don't know if it's like allergies or what but i'm literally losing my mind i jesse lila and i were sick for like two weeks off and on up until like mid last week and then on Tuesday of last week, I blew my nose really hard. And you know when you sometimes blow your nose and you like get a pop in your ear and it hurts, but then it goes away? Well, that happened and then the hurting never went away and I still have like what feels like a bubble in my ear, but obviously isn't. So it still hurt the next morning. So I went to urgent care and it turns out I have an ear infection and like a ruptured eardrum or something. Um, he didn't say specifically what it was, but it was like an ear infection and something else. So I've been on the antibiotics for a week and really no change. Like I've been having pain again. So I look at the bottle and I'm supposed to be taking the antibiotics twice a day, which makes sense because every time I've ever taken antibiotics, it's twice a day. But for some reason, the way it was folded, like the tab on the antibiotics bottle, it cut off at take one tablet and then a day was underneath it. And it said twice on the other side. Can you, <laughs> on the other hi. hi. On the other side of the little flap. So I've been taking the antibiotics incorrectly, which would make sense as to why my ear still hurts. But <laughs> but a lot of people say that your hearing may not come back for like weeks and this is the most annoying thing ever it's like when you have headphones in and you can hear yourself talk inside your head that's what i hear and it's so loud when i talk that i can't hear anything else if jesse's not looking directly at me when he speaks i don't know what he's saying it's really annoying and it makes me not want to talk so the past week i really haven't been saying much <laughs> so i don't know how vlogging is going to go today considering i don't want to speak but we'll see i was planning on going to target mainly just to like walk around we don't really like need anything but i'm waiting for my advil to kick in because i have like a headache an earache you know the whole kitten caboodle really so once my medicine kicks in Hopefully I'll feel better and then we'll go. I can't believe I did that with the antibiotics. I mean, I can believe it, but I just really want to wake up and be able to hear every day. I'm like, okay, maybe today's the day. And then I can't hear still. So let's pray this isn't permanent because I'll go insane. There is just a disaster pretty much in every corner that you look the whole cheese stick on the floor that you look in this house right now. Cabinets are open, dinner from last night. And here's the medicine that really fucked me up. I really don't like urgent care. Like does anyone else feel like urgent care doctors don't really care? Cause sometimes I feel like they don't care. Like he just kind of left me for dead and was like, get out. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Lila's desperate to go outside, but it's raining. So I don't know, you know, I told her it's raining, but she obviously doesn't get it. So I'm gonna make more coffee because I'm about to fall asleep. Oh wow, that looks good. Can someone just kill me? Also, I put my AirPods through the wash, and if you watch my vlogs consistently, you know, it was probably like this time last year I put yes. Jesse's AirPods through the wash, but I put his AirPods through the wash and dryer and they worked perfectly. Well, I put mine through the wash and I was like, oh fuck, like took them out and just like left them to dry and they're broken. So I guess you have to put them through both the wash and dryer if you do one. They'll connect, but then they like unconnect a few minutes later. But right now wearing these AirPods is the only thing that keeps me from throwing myself out the window because it like balances out my hearing in a way. Like it makes me feel normal. It's really hard to explain if you've never been afflicted by this issue. It sounds like I'm insane, but I feel insane. 
with a toddler, like I've learned, you just have to accept that they're gonna do whatever they want to do because they don't understand like no yet, at least at this age, she's 22 months. So she doesn't understand no. So I just kind of have to let her do whatever it is and just redirect her. But if it's something that's not going to actually harm her, it'll only harm my like mental health, like her digging in the freezer, I just let it happen. I just put Lila down for her nap. It's 12 o'clock. Dare I say it looks like she might actually fall asleep, which isn't a guarantee. Well, now she's sitting up, so I don't know. But I was um, on the Target app. They have like a sale for everything right now, basically. And I really wanna get new curtains for this room. We got the blackout curtains when Lila was like a newborn, like a week after we had her because she was sleeping in the room and we needed it to be dark. And then I just got so used to them and it's so nice like when you sleep in and it's still nice and dark in your room, but it is also depressing. So I think I'm gonna get a new curtain rod and like sheer curtain. So unfortunately it won't be dark in here, but I do wear like a sleep mask anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I have to measure these curtains and I don't know. Uh, well, the measuring tape that Jesse has here is kind of like broken. It doesn't say stiff. So I'm going to use my like measuring thing that I use to like take my measurements. So this is very um, girl math, girl construction. Okay. 50 ish. Okay, so we need 122. Okay. How long is this? 60. Okay. So let's see what the curtains are. 54 by 84. 84 by 50. Fuck. 84 by 54. What did I just say this was? They're not going to be long enough. They're not going to be long enough? What the fuck? Wait. Oh, 84 inches long. Cool. That makes more sense. 50. Okay. So that's the same length as these. That was probably so painful for some of you to watch, but that is how I do my measurements in the hardest and least accurate way possible. Well, Lila never fell asleep, which I'm not really like surprised by that. <laughs> So I'm just getting ready and I'm going to take her to Target. Shoes. Take a tea. Take a tea. Take a tea. 
We are ready. I'm just wearing this random black tank top from TJ Maxx. Lululemon Wonder Unders. This jacket is from Princess Polly. These are my Nikes. I love these sneakers for the spring and summer. It's Lila's OOTD. She wore it in the last video, so outfit repeater. And I'm using my big pink bag again, which so many of you guys clicked on and bought last video, so thanks. And here it is again if you're interested. It fits literally everything. I don't know if I like them. It's really good. Something comes over me in Target where I feel like I need to leave as fast as humanly possible. But I did get some cool stuff. I didn't get the curtains because they were not what I imagined. They were like really thick and I was going for like a thin springy vibe. So I'm gonna use the ones we used before that. I got three different Alani News because they were on sale, which never happens. And I'm gonna have one now. I love this cherry one. Actually, like, I feel like Alani News and Red Bulls are the only energy drink I can drink. Celsius gives me a panic attack. I don't know why, because no other energy drink gives me a panic attack, but Celsius actually does. I ended up getting this body spray. This finery line, all their perfumes smell amazing. It smells so good. I wanted to get the cherry one, but the body spray didn't smell as good as the perfume, and the perfume was $40. I wasn't gonna spend $40. So I love that. This was only $20. Um, is there anything else? Oh, I had to get Jesse deodorant, so I got him deodorant, and this is the, like, I don't know what you call Axe. Is it like a body spray for men, or is it deodorant? I don't know. But this smell is the one, or this scent is the one he wore when we first started dating, like, 15 years ago. And it reminds me of that time, and he's going to be like, I am not wearing Axe, but I don't care, because I love the way it smells. But I'm going to take Lila to the park, because it's not raining for once. So we're going to take advantage. This Target receipt is huge, and it's killing me. Okay, is that a huge slide or am I like crazy? That slide is like really big. I want to go down it. <laughs> so good then I got this elf neutral brown wow brow tinted gel because some days I just don't want to do my eyebrows but they need a little like something all right I also already put sweatpants on I think we are going to color or something and then I'll start making dinner eventually I'm reading a really good book right now. I'll talk more about my books later because I want to get Lila set up, but I have a really good book. Here is the curtain rod. It's wood. I think it's so cute and I like that it's wood so I don't have to decide on like silver or gold. I'm going to take it out of the packaging and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, okay? Like I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to try.
done with dinner. I just cleaned up most of it. Jesse isn't home yet, he has to work late. So I left some on the stove. When do you wean kids off their like nighttime milk? I don't wanna call it a bottle cause it's a straw cup and I don't want people to think she's still having a bottle at two years old. But this has to go soon and it's like, I don't think that's gonna go over very well. I did it. I took down the curtain rod. It actually wasn't hard at all. I just needed to find the drill. Well, we have a lot of holes in the wall, but not one curtain is hung. We're gonna take a break from that because I'm pretty sure I messed that up. It's about an hour later. I put Lila down for a nap and I got one up. It's not good. If we move and someone took this down, they would see about 10 holes right there, but I think it could hold a curtain. Girl power, baby. I did it. Are they secured? Well, absolutely not. It wouldn't hold a curtain that's heavier than this. It's bowed a little in the center, but it's hung up. Just don't look at it too long or you'll notice things about it. I love it, it's so bright in here. I look horrendous. That was, like, I wanted to take a shower after doing that. I was so sweaty. <sighs> Anyways, it's 11.30. Lila's taking a nap. I'm so excited to have done that. I have to fold Jesse's work laundry. And I need to clean this room because there's fucking drywall everywhere because I've made, like, ten holes in the wall. Now we're settled. Not really, but I'm going to do my makeup but I'm just gonna do something really light cause it's like 12 o'clock. I feel like the day's halfway over so I'm not gonna put on foundation. I'm gonna use this Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. I don't like the way this looks under makeup. I just feel like it doesn't sit on my skin well under makeup, but we're gonna try it alone. And if you're wondering, no, I still can't hear. And every day that this happens and time goes on and I can't hear, I get more and more angry. Last night I stopped vlogging because I don't know what happened to me, but all of a sudden I was just in like a really bad mood. I just wanted to go to bed, but it was only like 7.30. So I just didn't vlog and I laid in bed. I was actually in such a bad mood last night that I didn't even want to watch my show. I've been watching Billions, which is so good. If you like Succession, Billions is, like, you'll probably like that too. But I was just so angry. I really don't know why. For bronzer, I got this Fit Me foundation powder in the shade Mocha. You just got it at CVS. It's a gorgeous bronzer shade. If you have like really pale skin, you just have to be really uh, gentle with it. Today it went back down to like 30 degrees. I think it's supposed to snow tonight, which is just really unfortunate. And that's the thing about spring in New York is you'll have like a gorgeous week or two and then all of a sudden you're back to winter. So we are back in winter. It says it's supposed to snow this weekend, but it also says it's supposed to be 50 degrees, so I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on there. But it's not a very nice day out. Like it's sunny, but it's 30 degrees and windy. All right, I guess this is all I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna change my top about five more times. I'm gonna spray this. Oh, it smells so good, so good. Order it. If you don't have a Target near you or you don't want to go to Target, you're gonna love this scent. It's so good. I will link it below. This is what I've settled on. It looks like I have a penis, but I don't actually have that. Um, obviously I already got chocolate on it because I just had a Lara bar, but this is from Amazon. I have it in gray too. It's just the best. 
I'm drinking the rest of this Lani new from yesterday. And the living room is a disaster because this morning Lila and I, we were really just going through it. Frankly, I just don't really feel like cleaning up because once Lila gets up her nap, it's like gonna be the same thing. She likes to play with the pan that we cook pizza in. So I'm just gonna leave this gorgeous mess. Good morning. takes potatoes to cook. So I don't really know if I'm doing something wrong or they just take an astronomical amount of time. But I'm done prepping dinner. I just have to wait till the potatoes are like somewhat done so I can put the chicken in. <laughs> Excuse me. Cheese. Cheese, I don't want you on the table. Cheese. 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 Lila is running around with an eyeshadow palette that I took the eyeshadow out of. Um, I love, I was just editing this video and I said, I'm not gonna clean up the living room because there's no point or whatever I said. Well, I cleaned up the living room and then it looks exactly the same as it did before I cleaned. So what was the point? Why do I do this every day? I don't know. I've been listening to this playlist on Spotify called Hot Pink. It was like made by Spotify and it has so many good songs from like, I, I was in college, so like 2013. is somewhat clean. <laughs> I put Jesse's dinner in the microwave. Does anyone else put their like husband or partner's food in the microwave if they're not home for dinner? We grew up doing that because our childhood cat, Play-Doh, um, would jump on the counter and eat my dad's food because he got home from work late. So my mom started putting it in the microwave. At least I think that's why. Um, and now I just do it too, even though Peach doesn't care for human food. She'd probably smell it, but she wouldn't lick it. Anywho, Jesse's gonna be home in like 20 minutes. So Lila is just playing with this carton of eggs and her eyeshadow palette, queen. And I'm just gonna like sit on the couch. Let me tell you about my books. Okay, so first of all, I'm almost done with the whole 
Captivated by You, One with You, Gideon Cross series. I have like half the book left on the last one, which is crazy because I've been reading them since college. I just, you know, read a little here and forget about it for a few years. So I just read Powerless and now I'm reading Reckless. They're in the same like universe, I guess. So good. It's like very power. What is it? Powerless is very romantic. It has a good ending. Like the plot is pretty good. I feel like with a lot of like book talk, sort of like spicy books, the plot and the writing is just so horrible. Sometimes it's hard to read. Like it's so bad, but that one's really good. Now I'm reading Reckless, which is like so the same people, not the same people, but like they were in the previous book. And that one is so good. The That plot is like amazing. Not one that I've seen before. I really, really like it. So if you guys want to read them, I'll have them linked below. They're on Kindle Unlimited. So it's like $10 a month, but you can read as many books as you want. But Kindle Unlimited doesn't have every book, so. I'm very excited. Um, I hate like you finish the book and then you're like, oh, I don't wanna read the next one. Like there's no way it's gonna be as good as this one. Like when it's not about the same two people. And then it does, it always ends up being as good. And for some reason, I'm on a 76% of Reckless and I, I don't wanna read it. Like I don't want it to be over. So I haven't read it in like three days just because, I don't know.